Hey guys, it's Ms. Hollingsworth, back with some more info about commas. So one easy place to make sure you're using commas correctly is in a date. So whenever you're just writing the date, like October 25th, 2009, like this little boy did, you're going to make sure to put a comma between the day and the year. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You write these all the time, right? Now, um, see, April 10th, 2010, July 4th, 1776. Today is uh, December 8th, 2020. Put a comma after the eight, okay? Now, when you use um, the day of the week before the date, you're going to put a comma there too. So today is Tuesday, comma, December 8th, comma, 2020. Or Saturday, comma, April 10th, comma, 2020. Tuesday, comma, July 4th, comma, 1776. You're just wanting to set that off, and that's what that comma does. Now, let's see, <laughs> slightly more complicated. When a date is in the middle of a sentence, commas have to come before the year, so after the day, right, and after the year. You're, again, you're setting it off from the rest of the sentence. So let's look at how that um, is going to see uh, is going to look. So on Saturday, you got your comma here after the day of the week, April tenth. Got your comma here, twenty ten, comma. My sister was born. So just for one date, you can have three commas if you're using it in a sentence. I know it seems a little insane, right? But those are hard and fast rules. You're going to use them every time you write a date. You need a comma after the numerical date, like the 10th. You need a comma after the day of the week, if you're using it. And you need a comma after the year, if you're using it in a sentence. Okay, so um, head off to Seesaw to find your daily practice today. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.